From killing enemies with Cypher's camera to crazy movements that shouldn't even be possible. Here is Valorant's history of glitches. Back in the early days of Valorant, Cypher could give his camera a gun and actually be able to shoot it. Throw a gun to my camera. How does that work? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, there we go. Wait, is this it? What the? Crazy, right? Yeah, he could place his camera, drop it a gun, and play from anywhere on the map while being able to shoot it at enemies from unexpected angles. Oh my god. <laughs> this insane glitch came to being because of how Cypher's camera was initially coded. It used to be registered as a player entity. So it could just pick up any guns dropped near it, and since it already has a built-in option to shoot its tracking dart, it could shoot the gun as well. This essentially made it a refreshable piece of utility that could hold angles on its own and easily kill enemies without dying for it. Some players even remarked that this wasn't a bug, but instead was a feature intended to be added by Riot itself. Self. Uh huh. If that camera is gonna be the one who kills me, it at least better get my good side. Nearly at the same time, Viper's wall could boost any ally to whatever direction she was firing it in. For its time, it was a crazy movement tech that could get your ally behind the enemy as they were pushing up that wouldn't otherwise be possible. Yeah! A Reddit user was the first to upload a video demonstrating this glitch where they showed that it could be replicated by having an ally agent stand in front of Viper and jump just before the wall was fired. Don't worry though, this was quickly patched after, but not before some players tried it in actual games. Even funnier though is that others managed to find a counter to it by using Cypher's trips. This goes to show that while glitch abusers are fast, Karma is definitely faster. Now we're done with 2020, and if you thought that was crazy, just take a look at 2021. Speaking of crazy movement, Jet is especially notorious for her super dashes. What the f is going on here? What? 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 Yo, I'm reporting you, dude. <laughs> she is already a high movement agent with the ability to dash in any direction and jump into the air by using her updraft skill. And using this glitch just takes it to a whole nother level. A super dash is essentially when Jet dashes into an obstacle and jumps so that she flies upwards. It essentially gives her a third updraft, giving her access to incredibly high angles and sometimes even a full vision of a part of the map. And it gets worse. If you combine it with her ultimate, she could get kills easily while the enemy can only wonder where they're being shot from. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? Nope, it's just a jet up in the air that's about to headshot you from a mile away. Oh, you gotta love this game sometimes. Breeze and Cypher were a bit of a dynamic duo when the map first came out when it came to placing his camera. With the map being so open yet still having plenty of nooks and crannies, it was the perfect map for Cypher to place his camera into select hidden spots. Some camera spots are just straight up broken though, with some of them being able to see through walls and being virtually indestructible because enemies just couldn't shoot at it. There was even an incident involving the Valorant Champions Tournament, the biggest tournament that Valorant carried where pro players used one of these bug cameras to their favor for several rounds and of course were subsequently punished for it by Riot themselves. I mean, come on, man. Are you really cheating on the biggest competition there is? It's the Super Bowl of Valorant and you're... You gotta do what you gotta do, I guess. Seeing through walls isn't where it stops, though, because this glitch is even worse than the last one by letting you straight up shoot through them as well. Can you yeah, that sounds pretty OP to me. So Omen's teleportation and Sage's wall are two abilities that are already fairly prone to weird results. So naturally, when you put them together, it can get even weirder. If you use both abilities at the same time in the same spot, Omen can teleport inside the wall and essentially shoot everybody from there. He can kill all the enemies, but they are essentially unable to see and shoot him. Let's go. I'm like a ninja. This makes for one insanely overpowered exploit that could probably get you banned if you abuse it in competitive games. So as funny as it can be, oh. yes! don't go ahead trying it. Viper's wall boost glitch may have been fixed in 2020, but a similar glitch was discovered a year later and somehow it's even better. Except it's by using Sova's recon dart, even down to jumping right in front of him before he shoots it. Standing ahead. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's way more overpowered though, since Sova's Recon Dart is a refreshable ability, meaning he can use it more than once in a single round. On top of that, he also doesn't need another person to do the glitches. He can actually use it for himself by simply putting one bounce on the arrow and shooting it behind him. It seems there's only one thing that remains constant in this world, and it ain't changing anytime soon. It's Valorant glitches where anyone can fly across the map in the blink of an eye. Hey, I think he's left side. We all know that Omen's ultimate ability can be quite scary to go against since he could literally be anywhere, but at least it doesn't directly hurt you, right? Right? Well, for a brief moment of time, he could actually do that. That sounds like it shouldn't be real, but unfortunately, it very much is. If Omen used his smoke ability and his ultimate ability at the same time, there was a small window during his ult where he could pull out his gun and shoot it. On top of that, if he managed to get a kill quickly, he could also just cancel his ultimate and walk away with a free kill. No one would ever expect it, really. It's almost unbelievable that it was even possible at all in the first place. 2021 may have been insane, but somehow these glitches outdo themselves in their craziness as time goes on. For example, early 2022 greeted us with one of the most overpowered and notorious bugs there is in the entire history of this game. Ostra may be known to some as the agent that was absolutely broken upon release, with a kit so insane that she was dubbed even more overpowered than pre-nerf jet and pre-nerf chamber. This sentiment doesn't seem limited to just her kit though, as there was a game-breaking Ostra glitch that had to be patched just hours after discovery. Ostra's entire kit revolves around placing stars around the map and using them for either smokes or crowd control, so she gets one star at the start of every round for free. There was a point in time where she could place down her free star, recall it, and then sell it to get free money. Yes, that's right, ladies and gents. We got a free money glitch on our hands. This meant that she could actually buy a gun in pistol rounds, which just gives a completely unfair advantage to one side right at the start of each half. Imagine if she bought a marshal when no one on the opposing team bought shields. That would be like facing up against an operator in the first round. This glitch might have come to being while they were adjusting Ostra's power level by nerfing her abilities and making her start with four stars instead of five. Somewhere along the way, they just accidentally gave her the ability to do this glitch. It is beautiful irony how while they were trying to nerf her, they gave her one of the most broken glitches we've seen yet. As a spiritual successor to Jet and her super dashes, another duelist is here to exploit a movement tech that really shouldn't be possible. This glitch makes use of Neon Slide in a way that is very similar to how you'd use Jet's super dashes. Hence, it was then dubbed the Super Slide. Oh, no. um, oh, Whoa! Oh, they're all here! Oh my god! What the f <laughs> While Jet's Super Dash could propel her high up into the air, Neon's Super Slide could get her from one part of the map to another in just a split second. This usually happens when she's slightly elevated, then slides on a downward slope, or when sliding into walls and corners. This allows her to rotate incredibly fast and surprise the enemy with her positioning, giving her free kills and the enemies free heart attacks. <laughs> I mean, I literally wouldn't know what to think if I saw my enemy running like flash towards me. Viper's ultimate ability is just one massive smoke, so naturally the ability to see through the entirety of it would make for a broken glitch. There were a number of Viper lineups that left a few pockets of space not covered by her ultimate. This sounds all right and maybe even a little counterintuitive, but at the time it was actually overpowered. If you stand between the uncovered space and the ultimate, the game thinks you're going through a wall and no clipping, so it actually allows you to see everything inside the ultimate. As if Viper's ultimate wasn't terrifying enough to play against already, now there's the threat of her being able to shoot you the moment you step inside of it. You don't even need Omen to exploit certain glitches with Sage's wall. Content creator Flo Ascending managed to find an obscure spot on the map, Pearl, that when walled correctly, could hide Sage behind some greenery on the wall in mid. And while not exactly being a bug you can abuse every round, it could net you a couple cheesy kills and maybe a round win or two until they find out where you're at. With the wall sticking out like a sore thumb and going down on its own after a specific amount of time though, I can assure you it won't be long.
The year 2023 may just have started, but players are already finding new glitches left and right. The map split has just come back after months of being out of rotation, though it might have to be taken out again to fix this insane glitch. Jet is back at it again, unfortunately, though this time it's her updraft ability that put her in a weird spot, quite literally. Content creator HowToNoodle found a small ledge in A main that Jet could updraft to and stay in, overlooking every angle that defenders could rotate to retake the site from. It appears there's also a bit of leeway to push forward and watch over the site itself, which can be quite broken, especially in the post plant. You'd have literally no idea where she is unless she shoots at you and reveals herself. Who even looks that far up? Similar to the last one, Jet has managed to find yet another updraft spot on the new map Lotus that no other agent would be able to get to on their own. In one of the tight corridors leading to B site, there's a small ledge just by the entrance to the site that Jet can apparently get stuck in by using her updraft ability towards it. While not nearly as powerful as the last spot in the new split, it is much more concealed and you can actually get away with getting a few ratty kills from it as long as they don't look up. Where is he? Like what? No! What is that? 